Thank you. Jeff Pfeiffer, Channel Guide Magazine. I just wanted to talk talk a bit to the three of you about your characters and how much research you did, especially in the scientific part. Of, did you really have to kind of kind of relearn your high school physics to <laughs> sort of talk about what you're discussing in the show? Mine was sort of a need to know basis. You know, okay. uh, <laughs> they had a. I mean, I certainly had no ambition to sort of understand everything I was talking about. But when there were scenes that I felt like, you know, it was a little bit more relevant, they actually had a scientific advisor on set mm -hmm. who was very well versed in nuclear physics. So we would pepper him, or I would at least pepper him with questions that at least be able to wrap my head around what I was talking about. Okay. Yeah, yeah I, I play Fritz, uh, who's the explosives expert on the implosion unit. And uh, I... Uh, yeah, I do. I feel like, you know, some of the high school physics did come back rather quickly. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing when you really get into this stuff how simple some of the ideas are. I'm sure that coming up with them wasn't that simple. Sure. But, <laughs> you know, and, and obviously we're not having to do a lot of the math ourselves. Mm -hmm. But if to understand the basic concepts is, um, is actually really... Like intuitive, right? It's intuitive. Yeah. And it, you sort of look at it and you're like, oh, of, of course, course. that, yeah, that yeah. makes right. sense. Yeah. 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 I tried to think like playing a teenager on the show, trying to understand the gravity of like World War II mm -hmm. and what that meant. Um, it was kind of hard to grasp, but I watched this play on YouTube called The Theater of War with Meryl Streep, and it really kind of gets into like what those people went through and, and the heartbreak and the strength and the courage, and mm -hmm. I found that like really helpful. Do you think kids back then were pretty similar to how they are today, uh, aside from what I mean, they went through? I think teenagers in general, no matter from what time they're going through that phase of like trying to discover themselves and trying mm -hmm. to be independent, but you know they don't always have the chance because they're controlled by their environment or their parents. Um, but it was a little bit different. It was like more of a high pressure situation because she legitimately isn't just like feels like she's trapped. She actually is trapped mm -hmm. like there's a border of army around right. the town right. <laughs> she can't leave right, right. <laughs> yeah and then eddie i was interested mm -hmm. in your character i don't know if you've done any research to see if there actually were uh, scientists of asian descent uh, working in los alamos and real life i, I tried to look for yeah for any you know the the scientists the characters themselves weren't based on any mm -hmm. specific characters although certain characters from what sam tells me were you know made sort of vague allusions to you know real life people but i tried to find some and i and i, and I was was not able to find any yeah okay cool well thank you all very much yeah. thank, thank you. you so much great stopping uh, uh.